The hollow body hold is a good core exercise that we typically do as a hold, but we can put it into motion and work on being able to do hollow body rocks. Today, I wanna to break it all down for you, show you how you can work up to being able to do that full hollow body rock that I just showed you. Now, first off, we need to start and look at the actual hollow body hold, make sure that we're doing this correctly before we actually start putting that into motion. First key point is to always make sure that we have our lower back driving into the floor. So if you have an arch in your back, this is not going to be good. You wanna press the lower back into the floor and something that can really help with this is pulling the chest towards, pardon me, pulling the chin towards the chest and then taking your arms towards your feet. What this is gonna do is create this nice little arch in the back there uh, of what we want in that we have the rounded back and this is gonna allow us to be able to get into this hollow body position. You can start here, knees are together, arms extending down towards the feet. And this is really just where we start to make sure that we have the hollow body down. What we can do is take that and put it into motion, but we're not just going to try it. We're first going to get good at rolling back and forward, making sure that we can keep that rounded back so that we don't slam our back into the floor. So this is how we're going to do this, is simply round the back and hold on to the knees, keeping our chin tucked and keeping ourselves rounded. We'll roll backwards and then come back into this sitting position. First order of business is really being able to do that. You might find yourself getting stuck back here and what is happening if that if that happens is that you're probably opening up your chest a little bit keep your back rounded and again if you find yourself getting stuck here it's probably because you flattened your back out so keep the back rounded and you can actually push with your feet to help aid you to sit back up out of that so i'm going to try and slow this down a little bit to give you a good example of what might happen is going back getting stuck but then kick round to get back up Practice on being able to keep this rounded position, going in and out of this. Gradually getting to the point where you don't need to use your hands when you're performing this movement. So this is the first thing to think about when you're performing um, this movement and working towards the full hollow body rock. Now we can go back to the hollow body position and we're going to start off by having our knees bent here. We're going to get into this <laughs> rounded back position with our lower back on the floor and we're going to use our feet to kick just like i showed you when you're in this position initially trying to get back up into the seated position and go from here but not go all the way up we're going to keep our feet off the ground and then roll back and then focus and work towards being able to do this movement and i want you to really notice my lower back here i know it might be kind of difficult to see but i'm just rounded is all i'm doing and I'm gradually working to open up the distance between my knees and my chest here, but keep this rounded position, okay? It's kind of the first level, if you will, for the hollow body rock that we're after. Now it's just a matter of extending the legs and then eventually extending the arms while keeping the hollow body position, this dish position that we're after. You're going to quickly find that this is tough, very difficult, okay? But it's really gonna help you with, of course, strengthening the core, but it's also gonna help you to bring more awareness to really what's going on um, and how your lower body is communicating with your upper body in trying to move itself in space. So there's an additional bonus thing of learning the spatial awareness in place and really seeing how your body wants to move and is it coordinating the lower and upper body uh, together in order to allow you to move. Once again, starting here in this hollow body position, using momentum in the beginning to initiate this and then continue opening things up. It's just a matter now of working to be able to keep this position and further open up while staying in this hollow body position and opening things up now this is a tough move. It should feel smooth though. And so there's no point where, I, I don't want to do this because it actually hurts. I'm gonna show over, of, of smacking your back into the floor. It's, it's none of that. It's, it's really staying rounded and just making sure that you're just teeter-tottering 
back and forth with this. One little extra thing I'm gonna add in here. These are actually called candlesticks. These are what we would do back in my days of gymnastics. We did a lot of hollow body rocks, by the way, in gymnastics for our conditioning. Candlesticks are basically, it, it's just a uh, hollow body rock, but what I'm doing is rocking further back and bringing my legs up as high as possible. So I'm gonna shoot my feet towards the ceiling when I do this and allow my arms to come back. And uh, you can touch the floor if you would like, or you can keep your arms hovered off of the ground just a little bit. So starting off here, I start off with the basic hollow body rock, gradually impinging by bringing it up. This is just forcing me to work harder and keep that control when I'm performing this movement. Now I am squeezing my legs like crazy when I'm performing this. I can also keep my arms here make it even more difficult, but you'll notice my legs aren't touching, but I have quite a bit of hinge um, in, my, in my hips when performing this because I have to drive the legs up. Just another little additional thing to play with, but what I do, what I suggest is just start off with this basic hollow body rock, work on maybe adding that in after you practice it, add it in as maybe a finisher, like at the end of your session, Start off with 30 seconds, work up to maybe even doing that for a minute and you'll hate me.